Good morning. We are Josh and Jess Bennett, and this is morning prayer for Monday, April 26th. We invite you to just take a moment, um, pause, breathe, and yeah, we'll begin with our opening scripture. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty, Almighty and, and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us adore him. O be, o be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures from generation to generation. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Oh, come, let us adore him. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 132. Lord, remember David. And all his tribulations. How he swore unto the Lord. And vowed a vow unto the Almighty God of Jacob. I will not come within the tabernacle of my house. Nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor my eyelids to slumber. Neither the temples of my head to take any rest. Until I find a place for the temple of the Lord. A habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of the ark at Ephratah. And found it in the wood. We will go into his tabernacle. And fall low on our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, in your resting place. You and the ark of your strength. Let the, your priests be clothed with righteousness. And let your saints sing with joy. For your servant David's sake. Turn not away from the presence of the your anointed. The Lord has made a faithful oath unto David. And he shall not shrink from it. Of the fruit of your body. Shall I set upon your throne? If your children will keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them. Their children also shall sit upon the throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion for himself. He has longed for her to be his habitation. This shall be my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have delight therein. I will bless her provisions with increase. And will satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation. And her saints shall rejoice and sing. There shall I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lantern for the, my anointed. As for his enemies, I shall clothe them with shame. But upon his head shall his crown flourish. Glory, Glory be to, to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our lesson comes from, or our reading from the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark, beginning with the 16th chapter and the first verse. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and, Sol and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. 
And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. And they were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were alarmed. And he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. And they went out and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Now when he arose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After these things, he appeared in front in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. And they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them. Afterward, he appeared to the 11 themselves as they were reclining at table and he rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who saw him and after he had risen. And he said to them, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel of the whole creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went up and they preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by accompanying signs. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We praise, praise you, O God. God. We, we acclaim, acclaim you as Lord. Lord. All, all creation worships you, the, the Father everlasting. To you, all the angels, all the powers, powers of heaven, the cherubim and the seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowships of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death, and open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Let's affirm our faith uh, with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine, thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the, and the glory, glory forever, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. O God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching out our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and the love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. And we invite you to take a moment um, and pause the video, offer your own prayers and intercessions, and then come back and finish up with us. praying the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, God Father, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy, unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Have a great start to your week.